Hello and welcome. This is Christian Finn for ABP Tech Canada and ABP Tech International. Welcome to another series on how to configure MX Management Center correctly. So today we're looking into how to design your own layout. As you can see right now on the screen, um, where I have all my nine cameras. Now you might be saying I can't count because you see 11. Well, you see that I have my M15 up here switched to have two sensors displayed individually. Um, plus, I have my focus window here, which is the standard default setup. Now, if I want to create another layout, first I'll unlock the lock for configuration, hit the plus, and then select camera group. Um, I'll give it a name, let's say overview. That always works. I can give it an icon if I want to do so. It's just for show. Uh, frames per second. This is something when you have uh, lots of cameras and this is directly depending on the power of your computer and the graphics adapter. So I can't give you a golden rule um, because I would not, I would need to know the true potential of your computer and how many cameras and how large and high the resolution is. But Mobotics Management Center helps you a little bit in keeping things in a, in a manageable um, realm. So first you can lock down the frames per second. I mean, if uh, you're watching this and you're setting cameras up for a casino, you might need the 30 frames per second. But in most cases, you can limit it to four frames per second for a regular guard station, for example. And then you can also limit the maximum resolution. Now, my cameras are not streaming very high. Um, I record on high resolution, but not streaming on high resolution, so I don't need to change anything for my own cameras. But I could limit it for, to XGA, for example, here. Uh, also, by default, the low resolution profile is activated for here. Since I do know it won't be a problem, I'll uncheck it simply for my own computer here. So once I close everything down, you'll see that we have a new group with overview but there are no cameras inside. So in order to get the cameras in, I'll click on the first one, shift click on the last one, I drag and drop all the cameras into the group. You can now see that all cameras are in the group. And uh, I can go back uh, to settings if I click the gear wheel. Well, we were there already. Uh, and I can also uh, assign certain rights um, per camera in that group like uh, speaker and microphone and all that. Now for that demo uh, today, for the training, I won't do that because we're primarily focusing <coughs> on the layout. Sorry for that. Okay, so let's get started. We're locking the lock down and I'll activate the overview. As you can see, it looks very ugly. And uh, even here in the upper left corner, you, you think well, one camera is not streaming, which is not true. This is the focus area. So if I drag and drop a camera in here, okay, that should have happened. Oh yeah. If I drag a camera in here, then uh, you see the, the live view, I can switch to another camera, and so on and so forth. Now, it still is not what we want. So in the lower right corner, there's another lock symbol. By the way, it doesn't matter which lock you open, the left one, the, the right one, it's all the same. But as you can see now that we're, oops, sorry for that, now that we unlocked uh, the configuration again, we can switch on or off the focus window. Now, as you can see here, we don't want to use it. We want to create our own layout. And then I have to decide uh, which aspect ratio to use. Now, if I have lots of dual sensor cameras like this D15 panel here, um, I can decide to leave it on eight to three, which is the perfect uh, ratio for the dual sensor cameras. But if I mostly have, as in my um, example here, mostly single uh, sensor cameras, then I'll basically put it to four to three. By the way, if you're dealing already with the new seven series cameras, the new sensor format is a 16 to nine sensor. So in that case, the best match for this camera would be obviously the 16 to nine, okay? Next, um, there is the camera amount. Um, if you have, a limited computer, you might need to lower it. Um, now I have nine cameras right now, so 10 cameras. Uh, so all basically is good. I'll leave it at this. And then there is another switch, and this one is very often overlooked. So if I 
click it for one second, release it, you'll see the two options, the auto grid or the manual grid. So far you've seen the auto grid. Now if I switch to the manual grid, uh, at first everything looks kind of normal, but now when I hover with the mouse over the single uh, streams here, you see that we do have kind of options now. We have the move icon in the upper left corner. We can close the stream down with the X. We can also go into the right lower right corner and then you see the uh, resizing arrow, arrows pointing up. So now we can design our own layout. So let's just say uh, I want to create a layout where the outside is very important to me. Um, and I have a dual sensor camera here, so what I can do, I'll drag the dual sensor camera over two uh, frames, and you see that now I have my full view, even though the aspect ratio for the full group is 4 to 3, now it's the 8 to 3 because of the dual sensor. And now I want to group all the different um, all the different uh, cameras for the outdoors into one area here. So I move this around and I'll move my garage over here. Front door gets to the lower left. And then I have this from the outdoors. And this is my barn. And we have two more for the outdoors. So let's put this over here. Let's put this over here. And let's just say the inside of my barn right now doesn't really matter to me, so I'll close that down. And I can move this one over here. Now I have... And you see that the resizing was done by Management Center automatically. That's a very helpful tool since I now have more space. Um, however, you see that I have my sunroom camera up here. Um, this is very small, right? I have a surround view. So why not, making it larger, by, oops, that didn't work, okay, ah, here we go. So by basically stretching it over four frames, so now I can even get my barn camera back in. I just have to, again, drag and drop the barn camera down here. And now I have a wonderful overview. I now lock it down. And now I just created my own layout in the style I would like to use it. Um, that's a pretty nice layout of all my cameras. Uh, again, different sizes. And, well, if I would be your client, I would be very happy right now. <laughs> I hope this uh, video helped explaining how to pull this off. You can create as many groups as you like. Um, design them, group cameras in a different way, and assign different functions and features to it. If you have questions, please feel free to get back to me at any time. and. Uh, on the bottom there are space for comments so please let me know how you like the video and if you have ideas for more please let me know thanks for watching and you have a wonderful day that was christian fit for abp tech canada and abp tech international